Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new War Dragons video. So, hope you guys are having a great day, um, and also enjoying this series. This should help most, like mostly, um, probably higher levels won't take too much out of this. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, but this is kind of geared towards some of the lower levels who might not understand some of this stuff. So, let me know down in the comments if this is helping you guys by leaving a like. That definitely lets me know. Um, and yeah. So. If you guys have not checked out the previous two videos on the series, I go over mages, um, the totems, as well as ice, fire, and dark flag turrets. This video, however, is going to be on storm towers and trebuchets, and also perches. Um, and I'm going to kind of go over like which ones are best where. So first, storm towers. Before I go over like where to put them, I want to show you guys what it does. So, super shot protective shield. So, what it does is it sucks health and steals metals. Um, I don't honestly understand what this does exactly. I've, like, it sucks health. I don't understand the steel metal spark. Maybe that does. I've never seen that before. Who knows? Um, and, but the real point of this super shot is it makes surrounding towers invincible. Until either, one, you kill the um, storm tower itself... Or also the shield actually runs out at some point. So that being said, the best place to put storm towers are actually in the middle of an island. But the one issue with that, again, is the fact that red mages also happen to be very, very good in the middle of an island. So I see a lot of people asking, you know, what should I do? Should I put a red mage in the middle or put a storm tower in the middle? And my personal opinion is mages always trump other towers. Trump Towers, got him. Uh, pun intended? No, actually, no. Oh, never mind. That makes me yeah, not a good joke. I don't know. Oh, well. So, yeah. Basically, towers always trump. Um, sorry, the mages. Mage towers always trump um, other towers. So, put red mages in the middle and put storm towers in a place that it does two things. One, don't put a, you know, like, don't put a storm tower in the front of an island. Because they're just going to target a storm tower first. Because, obviously, Storm Tower is one of the most detrimental things to an attack. So, put it somewhere where it's not going to be shot at first. Two, kind of figure out what's the best place to put a Storm Tower um, on your base. And the best place to put it, um, there's certain towers. Like, if it's if it's a, you know, so, okay, let me actually rephrase that. If you look right here, it's Super Shot is going to cover this Blue Mage, this Red Mage, and Trebuchet, but not this. Which one's more important, a trebuchet or a dark flak turret? Obviously, a di dark flak turret. So you're going to want to make sure that your storm towers are covering the most important buildings. If they're not, let's say you have a blue mage right there. Okay, well, that will change it up. So you want to put that right there. So that way, you know, your least important building is always not going to be protected. That's just, you know, my personal opinion on that. Um, it personally works better if you do it like that. So for me personally, the... Like, best way to do it is have your storm tower right here. Um, and just kind of the way it works with my base. Personally, this blue mage doesn't, like, won't do much. They'll target that pretty quickly. But in my opinion, always cover red mages as well as dark flag turrets. So, but obviously, you're going to have some base, like, some islands like this. Where you don't have a red mage. And obviously, like I said in the blue mage video... These don't have, like, a radius like the red mages. So you can put them anywhere on the island, and they will protect. Actually, I don't know why it's right there. Actually, never mind you. Um, so in these islands, yeah, put it in the middle. None of these other towers really matter in terms of placement, except storm towers. And the more they can protect, the better. And I don't know why that's there. Um, and the reason why I say... Oh, rip. Okay. If you did not watch that video, by the way, am I a little rich kid who's sitting on a pestle? Um, watch that video. Like, yeah. Thank you guys, by the way, for the support on that. Um, so, yeah. So, just make sure that your storm towers are covering your most important buildings. You know, cannon towers, arch towers aren't really going to trump, you know, let's say, lightning tower. Lightning, I've noticed, on, like, every single one of my videos, I have a certain saying that I say a lot. Like, because I said, you know, the last video I say, quote, unquote, this one I'm saying trump. Like, man, I'm such a liberal. Um, so yeah, I don't know why. I need to fix that. Oh, well, no one cares. 
Uh, so yeah, make sure that's just covering your most important towers. And also, don't put it in the front of an island, because if you're doing that, all you're asking, like, you're legitimately pleading for the attacking dragon to take it out first. I don't know why mine was in the front. I, I think I messed with it. So yeah, just consider that. Don't, storm towers, they're so good. If you're, if you're trying to defend a base, always use storm towers, because they're just so overpowered. Um, and make sure that you're also, your storm towers are also really good. Next are going to be trebuchets, and there's a lot of, I, I've seen so many bases that have no trebuchets, and people on my streams are like, you know, what's your opinion? And I never noticed that before. I've always, like, I've never noticed people don't have trebuchets until I started doing these guides and whatnot and do reviewing bases, is that, like, no one has trebuchets on their bases. Guys, trebuchets are so good. Sure, Dark, dark Flak turrets may, you know, do the same thing, maybe even better, but the real point of trebuchets, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a video on this, is that it's super shot, stuns a dragon for a few seconds. What you can do, if you're, if you have timing, if you can, like, time it perfectly, you can actually continually stun a dragon for the length of this entire island. The reason why I say, oh wait, yeah, the reason why I say that is that if you have a really good defender, especially with hunters, particularly, if you time the trebuchet super shot, so every single time the stun wears off, another one is on its way. You can do this five times, and five times a few seconds is about 15 to 20. 15 to 20 seconds is about how long it takes to get through this island if you're destroying towers. But if you don't even have a chance to touch any towers, it can ruin war attacks. Especially, um, I've wrecked people, as well as some of my teammates who know this, with just doing this over and over and over again. And it's so overpowered. Um, PG needs to fix it. It's actually insane. Not a lot of people do it, and it's really nice, but use trebuchets. Um, personally, in my opinion, it's not really, like I said, storm towers aren't, you know, it's not, like, it's not going to be better than some towers, especially mages, um, but they are good towers to have. So I would suggest putting at least one on your base at some point. The middle island is honestly a perfect one, because if you have a defender like myself, or like a bunch of others as well, who know this trick, them not being able to kill any mage, any tower at all is massively overpowered so again trebuchets are good finally perches what do these perches do and what do like certain dragons like do so i wanted to go and show you um and i mentioned this in my perch video and i got this wrong actually epic dragons give you something but not everything um so epic dragons alone will give you a resistance to will give that um, island, and it'll create a resistance, until it's killed, of course, um, to a certain, like, I, I don't know, like a certain uh, element. There we go. So, for example, if I was to put a Jagger on that island, or on this perch, it will give earth resistance toward to that island from incoming dragons. So, and that's true for any type of epic dragon you get. Legendary dragons, however also give something else, and that is, they will give, still give the resistance, but you also get a certain boost for that entire island, that, again, it's not your entire base, just that island, so, sorcerers will give you a super shot boost, we don't really know much details on that, per se, but we know that increases, and it, like, basically multiplies their super shot abilities, warriors will give extra health, and that is definitely, you know, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory, and hunters give extra damage, which makes sense, and, again, like, sorcerers won't give health bonuses. Warriors will. You can't choose. And that's, um, and sorry, and that's legendaries. Now, mythics. They will give those two things, but also something else. And that is discount, discount super shots. Personally, I can't use a mythic. I'm not sure what that does. But, obviously, put mythics on it if you want. Um, if you have any mythics and you can, put mythics on your purchase. It's probably going to be your best bet. And I know su Discount Super Shot is one of them, um, of the bonuses. I know there's a bunch. Like, I've heard of four different ones, including this. So, like, there's at least four. So, I'm not sure exactly, like, which ones are which. But, yeah. Apathet will give Discount Super Shots as well. So, that's massive. So, which dragons should you put on each perch? So, there's three perches currently in the game. You have this one right here. Stone Spear. You have, um, what was this one? Riverwatch, and I believe this is, like, um, Seed Gazer. Yeah, Seed Gazer. 
So there's a couple different reasons why certain dragons are better. First off, if let's say in like Slayer Musa on my team, um, he has a dark flak turret, an ice tower, and a fire turret on this island. The best, t- like sorry, the best dragon for this island would be sh- would sure, like would be definitely hunters. Because if you think about it, like I said in my fire turret video, fire turrets super shot does multiplies damage, increases all damage towards the dragon. So having even more damage being dealt upon the extra damage that you get anyway is insane. So having that, as well as, I mean, fire turrets, ice turrets, if you increase damage, like, they're complete beasts. But then also, if you think about dark flak turrets, at my, like, my level 35 has more, da- it does more damage than any other building in the game. So if you increase this by 30%, like, that's over, that's getting close to a million damage. Which basically means if you can get this thing to shoot, and that's not even its super shot, including its super shot, like that's like 1.5 to 2 million damage, um, which is insane. So definitely, if you have, even if it's just a dark flag turret or dark flag tower, I know people are gonna get mad. For sure, for sure, put um, a hunter in this island. But let's say you have lightning towers, for example. Um, sorry, I'm in the car right now. Specifically. Um, let's say you have a lot of lightning towers. Hunters are good, but you might want to think about putting sorcerers, because again, the super shots on these lightning towers is nearby lightning towers increase damage. So hunters work, but also if you increase that damage even more by the sorcerers, then you're better off anyway. So it's kind of like a flip between which ones you want to use and which ones not. But let's just say this is a normal island. You know, you have archer towers, trebuchets, Storm towers, mages, whatnot, cannons. Then it's really up to you. I would say super shots probably not the best choice in terms of best perch. However, I would say that probably you're gonna want a warrior, just because more health is actually better than more damage. Because if they can last longer, especially if let's say a warrior is attacking you, they don't do a lot of damage to begin with. So being able to tank even longer means more damage. It'll actually end up being more damage than if you increase damage without health. Um, and yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Especially, let's say you have a low-level Dark Flag turret. Increasing the HP means it takes longer for them to kill that tower, which equals the more time that it has to proc. And again, these Dark Flag turrets, towers, do so much damage. So stupid, honestly. Um, so it's like, ru- it ruins attacks. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, leave a like down below. Um, let me know how much you guys enjoy these videos. If you guys don't, um, definitely leave a dislike if you like have no use for this video or you don't like it. Send, leave me a comment down below, or if you want to be added to my in-game chats. Currently, I have four people are leaving the chats. No rip. Um, so, yeah. Let me know down in the comments below your in-game name. I know I'm missing some of you guys. You put it in some other videos. I've just been so busy lately. I will catch up very, very soon. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.